I'm in a bit of a pickle right now, you guys. My Nintendo Switch is kind of broken. For some reason, the SD card is not working. I've tried cleaning it out, I've tried opening up my Switch, but still, it'll read my SD card for probably 5-10 minutes, and then out of nowhere, it'll say I removed the SD card when I did not. But first off, don't worry, I still plan on reviewing video games on this channel and stuff because I can still use my wife's Nintendo Switch Lite in the meantime. But the question is, is do I buy another Switch right now, or do I wait until the next inevitable iteration of the Nintendo Switch hardware? We've heard rumors of the Nintendo Switch Pro coming out as early as March of next year, which seems unlikely, but at the same time, the Nintendo Switch did launch in March and it was a massive success, so maybe now Nintendo sees that time of the year as the best place to launch your console because you get that first big wave of early adopters and then you get another big holiday push in the same year. And like I said, they found massive success with Switch. It's been like the best-selling console for months now. But anyway, yeah, I'm not sure what to do. To me, it honestly seems like we could get a Switch Pro in March, mainly because there's some big games set to come out around the same time. First off, the massively popular Monster Hunter series is getting a brand new exclusive game on Switch, Monster Hunter Rise, and Monster Hunter World is Capcom's best-selling game of all time, so I'm pretty sure Rise is going to be a massive success as well. And Monster Hunter Rise honestly looks like the perfect game to showcase what this new Switch hardware can do. Now, do I think this new hardware is going to come anywhere near the Series X and PS5? Not a chance. But if we can get some hardware that'll play all of our current Switch games better and some new Switch games at maybe 1080p 60 frames per second, I honestly think that'll satisfy people. I mean, Nintendo's been proving for years now that the strength of your hardware doesn't necessarily matter. Of course it's important, but it definitely isn't all of it. And a few other games that I think will probably showcase this new hardware well are first off, Doom Eternal, we still haven't got a Switch release date, it's still supposed to be on the way, and I think that'd be a good launch title for this next piece of hardware. Aside from that, obviously this game isn't going to make the launch of the Switch Pro, but Metroid Prime 4 has been getting some crazy talent lately. From gameplay directors, to artists, to story writers, it's been absolutely insane. And I'll actually link a video from Game Explain in the description talking about the talent that Retro Studios has brought in recently. It's starting to seem like Metroid Prime 4 is going to be getting a massive AAA budget. And once again, I think it'd be the perfect game to tease whenever you're announcing this new hardware. Hardware. But for all I know, that game could still be three years out. It seems like it might still be ramping up production at the moment, so I'm not really sure. And then lastly, we know No More Heroes 3 got delayed out of 2020, so maybe they're aligning that release with a March 2021 release date as well. And I know what you're thinking. Dude, there's no way a console's coming out in March, it's already November and we haven't heard anything. But think about it, the Nintendo Switch Lite got revealed in July and then came out in September. And of course, it was a massive success. So wouldn't it make sense for Nintendo to do the same thing and reveal the console in January, right after the holidays when everyone's picking up a Switch? Because of course you don't want to announce a new Switch before the holidays and then people will just wait and pick up that one and not buy them during the holidays. So they give us a January announcement and a March launch. And believe me, I know this is so unlikely. I'm just trying to have a little fun and speculate a little bit. And then there's the whole COVID-19 situation, which could have ruined everything that Nintendo had planned. So if there was a plan for March 2021, maybe that's not even in the cards anymore because of COVID. But either way, I'm not sure what to do. Like I said, I'm in a pickle. Do I pick up a new Nintendo Switch, you know, the original one? Or do I wait for maybe a Switch Pro next year? With launch titles like No More Heroes 3, Doom Eternal, and the massive Monster Hunter Rise. If you made it this far, thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up if you didn't hit that thumbs down and if you're feeling really generous hit that subscribe button and maybe even that notifications bell thanks for watching i'll talk to you guys later see ya